you don't know what life's going to throw at you. And so sometimes you just, like, if you have that growth mindset, you will make do with it. It doesn't mean that when after I left, there weren't moments of panic, like, what am I going to do? Or, you know, in that, or I just watch this book and I need to get, I need to have people hire me now. What do I do there? I, you know, these are all things you have to learn. And, and, and it's not always an easy road. Um, but I'll say this, you know, if you persevere and you, 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 you apply yourself, um, and you remain optimistic and you have that right attitude, you know, over time people will recognize you for that. And, and you will be able to, I think, reap the rewards of that effort. I do think effort matters at the end of the day. Effort and intention of that effort, right? Um, the other thing I say is, because I'm such an expert at failure, people ask me a lot about that. And I do a lot of talks about how do you actually create competitive advantage through failure. Mm. But one of the things I always tell people is when you go through a hardship in life, Think of it this way. If we were to write a book about Ha, would we write about all his successes? Maybe it'd take a chapter or two, but it'd be kind of boring. What we want to know is when you hit adversity, how you overcame that, 